Now that the study is over, I'm going to switch off this study from uh, online, so I'm going to make it offline. Should this survey be online accessible? No, not anymore, because it's uh, done. Uh, I say I change the survey status, and what you now see is that the URL is not available anymore. When people click that URL that they still have on their computer, they will get a message that the study is over, and they cannot do the survey anymore. Now I'm going to download the participant data. As you can see, there are currently six da data files, uh, or uh, there are six data files from six different participants. Uh, I'm going to download that to my local computer. I want to include Excel files. That is useful if you work with SPSS. So I select that, I click download, and then I can open this uh, zip file on my local computer. Um, click OK. You see which files are in there. There are two data files, one in uh, the generic comma-separated values format that, can, that you can open in all spreadsheet programs, and the Excel format. That is useful for opening the file in SPSS. Also, you get uh, the six raw data files. You do not really need those, but you can work with them if you want. Uh, it requires some further skills. And the original survey is there. That is just useful if you want to be reminded of, oh, what was that question uh, actually about, uh, so that you can see your original survey. That is useful because sometimes you change a survey and then you might not remember uh, what questions belong to that specific data set. So that's it. Uh, in the next video, we're going to use this data file. So you want to extract that for uh, saving it.